There can be few easier targets than a school full of children. And yet the Taliban militants who scaled its walls were heavily armed with guns, suicide bombs and hate. The result was a bloodbath no child should ever see. This student walked into a hallway full of dead and injured. Their blood had spilled all over the place, he says. Parents, many still unaware of the full scale of the unfolding tragedy, rushed to the school. As did the military. Ultimately, they killed the gunmen, but failed to prevent the massacre. According to the Taliban, the army was the real target for their attacks in the north. We want them to feel our pain, said a spokesman. The school was army run. But it was the children who took the blow, many going from the chaos of the killing to that of a hospital barely keeping up. They, they were fighting. This boy, in obvious shock. I was hiding. I was hiding. I hid under a chair and then I saw my friends being killed, he says. They shot one of the teachers in the chest and the stomach. They set another teacher on fire. And they stole dozens and dozens of young lives. A grieving parent said her child went to school in a uniform only to end up in a casket. Heartbreaking in any language. The Prime Minister vowed the campaign against the Taliban would continue. In Peshawar, he also said, these are my children, it is my loss. A sentiment echoed outside Pakistan too, where the attack was condemned as savagery. It is beyond our comprehension why somebody would target children. Well, this morning, wherever you live, wherever you are, those are our children. And this is the world's loss. A senseless loss too big to absorb, even in a country sadly accustomed to it, a country desperate for the bloodshed to end. In light of the growing number of extremist attacks globally, it does bear mentioning that Pakistan is one of the countries most affected, only behind Iraq and Afghanistan. Wendy. So, Nala, how do you expect to see the fight against the Taliban unfold in, in the wake of this attack? Well, it's very likely that the latest military campaign in Pakistan's tribal areas in the north will be stepped up. Now, it is delicate because that approach has come under increasing criticism from some in the opposition. But today, the defense minister did say that the biggest threat to Pakistan's peace and the region's peace are the Taliban. And after today's attack, the army will be under pressure to show that it's making substantial progress in an operation that's been ongoing since June. Wendy. Thanks so much, Nala. Nala Ayed.